Hey guys, just wanted to uh, jump in. Apparently there's a new version out this morning. Current version 2.13. These are the upcoming notes. Things that'll be worked on a little bit later, but let's see what's going on with 2.13. So we have turrets no longer attempt to shoot rafts. That's nice. They'll shoot the driver of the raft if they have line of sight. Interesting. Water dinos now correctly follow rafts. That was something that we had noticed uh, doing our raft video that um, the Megalodon wouldn't follow us or the prehistoric dolphins, uh, which have uh, ickies, ichthies. Fires are not allowed to have riders while walking on the ground. Interesting. Client invisible flyers on saddle platforms. Um, I think I did see this where you would park a flyer on the boat and at some point it would become invisible and you couldn't see it. And you had to uh, call it away and then it would pop back up. Wrong rotated structure placement on saddle platforms. So stuff fixing with the saddle platforms, the Bronto and the Plesiosaur, I'm sure. Crash when loading a saved platform. Structures removed. Option of server host to use UDP. Uh, this they put on all servers and then my hosted server wouldn't connect. Then they put it back to the Steam P2P or P2P and then I could see my server again. So I'm not sure if the, the group that's hosting my server knows about this yet. I might have to send them a message about that to see if it's something I should do on my hosted server. Uh, they reduced the Terra Barrel Roll damage by 33%, which was really nice. It was kind of a cool move, but they did increase the stamina cost by 90%. So they made it something you can't spam is what I'm thinking they were doing. Personally owned tribe governments will no longer allow replacing structures that the user is not authorized to demolish. Not sure about that one. Default max number of structures per dynamic platform. This was the one where I was talking about in the video where um, you, there's a server setting that allows you to say how many different objects can be attached to the platform. Um, so you can make your rafts just a little bit. It looks like they increased the default already by 25%. So we might not even have to change the server setting. We might just be able to leave it with this because I only needed a little bit more to finish up the raft. Scuba pants hypothermia stats now work when riding dinos. Well, that's nice. Plant species X now don't automatically reactivate after loading a save game. Okay. Fix an issue with elect electric generators not linking to electric wires properly if they were placed after the electric wires. Oh, so like you would place the wire first and then try your generator and it would not connect. Okay. Character stats no longer character. Char current character. That was character if you didn't know. Stats no longer reset after fast travel. I had no idea that happened. Spike blockades can no longer be used to break fall damage. Oh. Dragonfire now damages flyers. Okay. Transponders in C4 now attach properly to platforms and rafts. Okay. So you, you can put a transponder on your raft. I haven't even got to that yet, so I'll be doing that coming up. Dimorphodon collision box has been improved. I don't know what that will mean. Maybe it's easier to shoot them now, whereas before it was really hard because you would put some arrows into them, but it, it wouldn't register the hit. Like if you hit their wing or, or even sometimes parts of the body, you really had to get a, a really, the, maybe the headshot and not much else. Flyers now remember their flying walking state properly across saved games. They don't fall out of the air anymore after a load. We've seen that sometimes when you come into a new zone and they, they fall on the ground there. Raft movements no longer get blocked, rubber banded by dinos that are standing on them. I had this happen um, in my episode just the other day where I was bringing two Carnos back and I would just rubber band and stay stuck in one spot. And what I had to do to get around it was I had to slightly adjust where the Carnos were standing and then eventually it would work. But now it looks like they're going to fix that so I don't have to worry about that. Fixed issues of dinos not appearing in the correct location on rafts platforms if you unmounted them. Okay not appearing in the right side. Okay, we're okay with that. Host session UI no longer clamps the numeric values by sliders. No clue what that one means. Host session UI no longer clamps the numeric values by sliders. You can input beyond range of values into the text boxes and they'll hold. Okay. Fixed Titan boas falling through the air above ground into caves below is what I'm guessing. 
below. So that looks like the two the 213. It looks like a lot of fixes to the you know the big update that they put in to add the rafts and the buildable saddles um, and the turrets. And then 212 would have been still more fixes that we've seen. More fixes. More fixes. Yeah, lots of fixes. 207s when it got added, really. So I'm thinking a lot of this has just been fixes up until that. So they added that feature, and that's to be expected. That was a pretty big feature. 207 added a lot of stuff. So we're just kind of getting into the 207s and the 214s upcoming. Uh, I think the big thing for that's going to be the power elevator structures, which uh, we're finally getting to the powered portion of the game and controllable primitive harpoon ballista, that'll be cool. And the plesiosaur platform saddle will get put in. So those are the big things we're waiting for. This might get bumped though too, because I've seen this number change a couple times uh, as it goes. So hopefully that's a quick rundown of the patch and we'll mostly fix it.